What's going on today, guys? So today we're going to go over the warm-up enrichment auto-tune. And the last time we were tuning, we tuned the idle section out, and we actually locked in our idle section. So we know in this area we should be good. We should be idling at about 13 and a half to 1. Uh, that's what my particular setup likes to idle at. And I've locked these cells. So I know that whenever we're completely warmed up, 180 degrees or over, this thing should idle at 13 and a half to 1. Now, you'll notice that we have this warm up enrichment tab over here. And we can start this before we start the engine. Now, there'll be an active filter on. So basically, while we have the after start enrichment on and the taper is active, this will not do any corrections until that's off. If your O2 is way off, it will not activate. Your O2 sensor has to be reading. It has to be within uh, the read of your O2 sensor. So I believe this one starts at around 10, 10 and a half to one. If, I, if I'm running five to one AFR, uh it's it's just not gonna read it it isn't gonna wanna it isn't going to know what to do because it's gonna be running so rich that it can't tell if it's rich or lean the o2 sensor just can't read now we shouldn't be that far off just using the general settings uh especially since we've already warmed up once and we know that we're idling around the uh correct spot so if we go off of their cold temperature, off their uh, recommendation, we can go over here, go to 200, and we can we want to be at 100 at 180 degrees. And basically, this is like a multiplier. So after we're above 180 degrees, this being 100 means that it's going to run what our V table or VE table is specifying. But we want to be in this area and we want to be in this area while we're warming up now you have your uh idle air control valve set up correctly you should be idling in this area somewhere i'm not running an idle air control valve on this uh, simply because i want to show what it would be like without one or uh, I run a GM one so I'm not running the same one as you so I can't share my settings a couple other things to note is the advanced setting over here this is basically as it's warming up it adds a percentage to the AFR. So it, let's say we're uh, we're supposed to be idling at 13 and a half. So right in here around the 50 degree coolant mark, we're going to be adding about a half a point. Now this says minus, that means minus. So instead of 13 and a half, it's going to go to 13. So this thing's going to try to idle around 13 to one air fuel ratio. It's going to need to do that until it warms up to 180 and then it goes to zero and it's trying to target the uh, 13 and a half that we have set in our idle uh, AFR table. Let's go ahead and get this started. And like always, I like to start a data log. Go over to tune analyze. And I'm going to actually restart the car, and that way it can prime. That actually might mess up my data log. Okay, here we go. Here that we're here. We'll just start a new data log just in case. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit through the warm up process. If I see something that uh, I think should be taken note, then I will uh, stop the fast forwarding effect and go over it. So 
going to start. And remember, if we go super lean or super rich to where the car wants to die, we're going to uh, apply and save it. And I'm actually going to just cause one of those effects. Let's say 82. Let's say... So that should go lean right there. It should go lean enough that uh, this is actually going to swing up. And I'll have to apply it and save the ECU. Uh, you might want to blip the throttle whenever you do that, just to keep the car from dying. So what I like to do is just tap the gas for a second, and then hit the button at the same time. You, uh, if you get the car tuned in just right, and your ignition timing is just right, and everything like that, you won't have to blip the throttle. The car will catch itself and uh, take off again. So we're gonna burn that. And that's intentionally messing up this map. So we should be running pretty rich. And then we should run lean for a minute. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to hold it a little bit. So it done this one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Okay, so we went through that. Let's see what changes it made. Okay. We can see this is quite a bit lower. And we can follow this kind of upward trend. We can pretty much verify that that's not going to need 200%. So what I'll probably do is bring it down to like the 175 mark. Just to make sure we're still rich. Because I'm thinking probably the 150 that it was at is probably closer. Um, it looked like 57 was pretty good like because we were just a little bit closer or below that. So by the time that the uh, active filters turned off, uh, the 57, 60 degree area, that should have been good. It should have been correcting that uh, correctly. So what I'm going to do is just lower that first one down to 175. 
select all these and then uh, blend them. And I'll go ahead and burn that. So as we, as we get into colder temperatures, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and do this. Uh, and you can do this infinite amount of times. Um, and you really don't even need the auto tune. Um, you can go in there and, and manually set this. So uh, it's not something that you, you need to pay for this. Um, the fuel VE table auto tune. Um, I definitely think it's worth, I think it's a hundred bucks. Uh, it may have went up, maybe it's 110 or whatever now. Um, I really think that this is worth it. The warm up is just kind of an, an additional deal that you get with it. So, but you don't absolutely need to, to pay the money for this part of it. And you don't absolutely have to pay the part for this either. Um, it's just, uh, it makes it a lot easier. Basically, you can set the auto tune up once you get it idling decent. Uh, you just kind of cruise around and just slowly work your way into these other areas. Um, there's some parts of the map that you're just not going to get to, like uh, at 500, at 100 kPa. You should not be hitting this ever, to be honest. You probably shouldn't even be hitting 100 below 2,000. So, like these cells up here, um, one, it's probably not going to accurately do it anyways. Uh, and then two, this is really, really hard on the motor. But once you get up into the, the 2,000, 2,500 area, I wouldn't be afraid to, to get up in these areas and get these tuned. But that's how you do the warm-up. Um, like I said, I mean, you can, uh, you can open up this warm-up and you can actually... Uh, just watch your air fuel ratio and you can go in here and manually set these uh, as it warms up. You can see this circle right here. So it tells you where they're, where it's at. It may take you two or three more tries, but uh, it's free to do it that way. So this is just a benefit for those people that paid the, uh, the little bit extra. That's all we got for today, guys. If there's uh, a specific video that you want me to cover, go ahead and put it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.